Hello, and welcome to Morant's vlog series. Today, I'll be talking about Jersey foundations. In essence, a Jersey foundation is an entity designed to blend highly attractive features of both Jersey companies and Jersey trusts. In many ways, it can be regarded as an incorporated trust, which can exist indefinitely. Unlike a trust, however, the foundation has its own legal personality and is able to own property and sue and be sued in its own name. The objects of the foundation may be to benefit a person or a class of persons, i.e. beneficiaries, specified or general charitable purposes, non-charitable purposes, or all or any of those just mentioned concurrently or consecutively and in any order. The objects must be specified in the charter unless the objects are to benefit a person or class of persons, in which case the charter may simply provide that the personal class of persons may be determined in accordance with the regulations, which, although now public, can be redacted. Subject to the charter or regulations being drafted to the contrary, a beneficiary under a foundation has no interest in the foundation's assets, is not owed any fiduciary duty by the foundation or by the council, the guardian or any other person appointed under the regulations of the foundation, and has no right to any information about the foundation. The constitutional documents of a Jersey foundation are a public charter and public regulations. Until recently, the regulations were a private document, not capable of public inspection. However, this is no longer the case, but as I've said, the regulations can be redacted to protect the identity of the various parties from public inspection. The charter contains certain basic information required by Jersey's Foundations Law, being the Foundations Jersey Law 2009. The regulations, on the other hand, typically identify those who are to benefit under the foundation or its purposes, establish the foundation's council and identify the foundation's guardian. The founder is the person who may be an individual or a corporate body who instructs a qualified person to apply for the incorporation of the foundation, regardless of whether or not the person donates any assets to the foundation. Unlike a trust, a foundation does not require an initial endowment to come into existence. The founder may be both a member of the council and the guardian, so a direct and very high degree of control is possible subject to relevant tax and legal advice. A person who donates assets to the foundation after incorporation will not be regarded as a founder unless the regulations of the foundation provide otherwise. The founder may retain rights under the foundation and may assign those rights to any other person at any time during their lifetime or by their will. The foundation has an executive body, like the board of directors of a company, known as the council. The council can be made up of one or more members and their role is to administer the foundation's assets and to carry out the foundation's objects. The members of the council must manage the foundation in accordance with its charter, its regulations and the foundation's law. The council must include at least one Jersey licensed qualified person. This is a person registered under the Financial Services Jersey Law 1998 to conduct financial services business of this type in Jersey. A qualified person is typically an entity provided by one of, the, one of the local trust and company service providers for that specific purpose. The duties of the council members are largely the same as the duties of directors of Jersey companies, namely to act honestly and in good faith with a view to the best interests of the foundation and to exercise the care, due diligence and skill that a reasonable, prudent person would exercise in comparable circumstances. In similar fashion to the trust law in Jersey, the foundation's law provides that nothing in the terms of the charter or regulations of the foundation will relieve a council member from liability for that person's fraud, willful misconduct or gross negligence. A Jersey foundation must have a guardian whose duty it is to take such steps as are reasonable in all the circumstances to ensure that the council carries out its functions. There are no residency restrictions on the guardian who can be a natural or legal person or a committee of persons or indeed another foundation. The founder or the qualified person but no other council member may be the guardian. Where an action of the council is not permitted by the charter or regulations, the guardian will have power to sanction or authorise the action of the council unless the regulations provide otherwise. 
So I've said a bit about the makeup of Jersey foundations in this vlog, but nothing about their many uses. That's another really big subject of its own. So we've made it a topic for a further vlog in the series. So watch this space for more. Thanks for listening.